Hi there. Now, before we do part C, just to take you through what we've established so far. Remember, we started off with the three particles P, Q and R. Q and R were at rest and P was projected towards Q with a speed of U. We had to show that the final velocity of Q was two fifths, one plus E times U. That's after the first impact. And we were told that E equaled three quarters. So it gave us the final velocity after the first impact of Q as being seven tenths U. We never found out what VP was, although in part A we had this equation that VP equaled VQ minus EU. Then after the next impact, that was between Q and R, we found out that Q came to rest and R went towards the right with a speed of 21 fortieths U. And for part C now, we're told that immediately after the collision between Q and R, as this one here, the rate of increase of the distance between P and R is V. And we've now got to find V in terms of U for three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this one, just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, you can check your work solution against mine. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So we need to find out what this final speed VP is between P and Q was when they first collided. And from part A then, we had that VP equaled VQ minus EU. Well, we've got VQ now. VQ was 7 tenths U. And so if we just carry on with this, it's going to equal 7 tenths U minus the EU that we've got here. And if you work this out, it comes out at minus 1 20th U. Now, the point is, we've got a negative here, and that means that VP actually reverse direction because we got it in the positive sense that we took. So that means that it's now going towards the left with a speed of 1 20th U. So when it comes to the relative speed between them, given by V, that's between P and R, we can see that therefore V must be equal to 1 20th U, that's for P going towards the left, 1 20th U, plus the speed of R. It's going to the right, so it's going to increase that relative speed, so that's why we've written a plus here, and that will be 21 40ths U. And if you add these two together, you end up with V equaling 23 U over 40. And there you go. All right?